Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. <laughs> You know me, just out here using my tobacco nicotine e-cig. You guys would never really know that there's actually a cart inside of here, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're gonna be breaking into this battery right here that is by the company called Yoken. Now you guys have seen me review this pro this company several several times, and it's because they're honestly right now they're the hottest company out in terms of the batteries that they make, the electronics that they make, whether that be dabbing tools, e rigs. They're really taking over the market because not only are they making all of these awesome products, they're also making them very, very cheap and very, very affordable for the everyday consumer. Like I know everybody loves their batteries because they actually cost anything from like 10, 15, 20 bucks at most, whereas other competitor companies are probably going anywhere from like 50, 60, 70, even some of them going up to $100, right? And not only that, but Yoken actually delivers higher quality most of the time and more like features for your money, I guess you could call it. So overall, it's just a better bang for your buck, right, ladies and gentlemen. So the latest product that they just dropped is gonna be this right here. So if you guys didn't already know what it is, let me go ahead and break it down real quick. So this is called the Verve or Verve. I'm not really entirely too sure how to pronounce that, but it's the incognito cart battery, all right? Probably easily the most discreet battery in the entire world. The most discreet battery, all right? When you go out, people are gonna look at this and literally think that it's just a regular vape. Now, I've seen others out there that are kind of like similar, but I feel like when you look at those, you could kind of tell that there's something off about it, you know? That it's not, that's actually really hiding something. Whereas this one, this one actually looks like a regular cigarette e cig and a regular vape, and you're not really going to be able to tell the difference, especially if you're out in public, because it has that generic round feature to it the spout coming out through the middle and the bottom that lights up. Everything is there, you feel me? Whereas others, I feel like they're missing a couple of different features to make it look 100% real. But without further ado, Yo can actually ended up doing that with this right here and let's go ahead and just take a couple rips off of it and give my first and final impressions and thoughts and let you guys know is this something that's worth it because honestly with the market right now being flooded with a whole bunch of different batteries you know it's hard to choose just one it's hard to choose just two so i'm going to be breaking down if this one is even worth adding to your collection all right ladies and gentlemen but before we get into the rips let's go ahead and read off a couple of features that this has for those of you who might be interested so like i said this is the verve verve incognito cart battery 450 milliamp battery draw activated so no buttons whatsoever and then on the back right here it just says that it comes with one verve incognito cart with magnetic connection. You could preheat by inhaling two times, which is actually something new, you know? I don't think I've ever seen that feature on, on any battery whatsoever. Usually you have to have a button to even access those features, but now they literally have where you could just pull it two times back to back and it's gonna start a preheat function, which in my personal opinion, comes in very, very clutch for those carts that are super, super thick, just as the pine trees that I usually use from time to time. So this right here, obviously draw activated. You could change the, vo what the? Bro, they're making this thing super crazy. So you could change the voltage by inhaling it three times, okay, ladies and gentlemen. And then it fits up to two gram carts, type C charging port, and it has the three different voltage settings, which is gonna be a 2.6, 3.2, and 3.8. And what more could you even ask for? It's everything that you need all in one battery, variable wattage, the incognito function, everything, all right, ladies and gents. So, let me, you tell me down below, which of these two do you think would be a more incognito, I guess, out in public? Do you think that this right here, this one, I think it's like more of like a reddish, pinkish type color, 
or do you guys think this one is going to be more incognito? Now, let's go ahead and pull this one out so I can show you the two different colors. And I think they have more colors on the website. I could be completely wrong. These could be their only two colors. But putting them side by side, right? These are just batteries, by the way, YouTube. These are just batteries. So this is the one that has bluish and purplish, and this one's just a solid color. In my personal opinion, I definitely think this one right here might be a more incognito because I feel like whenever I see vapes, they usually have like that transitioning color effect and I feel like people know that. So when they see this, they're probably gonna be like, oh yeah, that's definitely a e-cig, nothing crazy about that one. The only thing though, obviously, is gonna be you probably wanna make sure you're hitting this outdoors. You definitely don't wanna be hitting this inside anywhere because if you're technically trying to pass it off as being incognito, you definitely wanna be using this one outside that way no one can really smell any of the dankness from your cartridge because if you're especially if you're using a, like a higher end cartridge like a pine trees cold fire car anything that's maybe rosin anything that smells like flour as soon as you puff it out you definitely want to be a little bit more cautious with hitting those indoors because they are going to stink they are going to smell a little bit more flowery more herby and that's going to throw people off right so it's probably best to go with a little bit more of like a fruity disty or something like that something that has a little bit more flavor now that we got that out of the way now it's time to actually try this bad boy out now let me go ahead and check to see how i could change the variable wattage on this it says to just puff it three times in order for it to change i think that right there i just actually might have activated the warm-up right there there you go, there we got it. All right, we got it to change. It is a little bit of like a, a learning curve on this, definitely. You have to puff it like at the right amount of seconds. It's not like just three puffs back to back to back. So it has to be like you puff it, wait like maybe like half a second, puff it again, and may wait another half a second, then puff it again. It's gonna go ahead and change the variable wattage. In my personal opinion, I feel like this is probably one of the sickest batteries out too, because not only do they got you covered when it comes down to discreteness, but they have you on the variable wattage. They have you on the fact that this protects your car. That like, honestly, you drop this, it's probably, I don't know how strong the magnet is for the bottom. So I don't know how, if it'll actually like stay together, but I'm assuming if you drop it, it'll at least protect your car on that initial like hit. So that way it won't break right off of the first splat, all right? But it is definitely, you might wanna be a little bit cautious because I'm not really too sure how strong the magnets are on this. They could be a little bit on the weaker side if it hits like a hard surface and it might pop open. And then let's say, I don't know, you're in front of a, a cop. Hypothetically, let's go ahead and say you're in a movie you're using this bad boy and you hit it in front of a cop and knowing your luck, it falls on the ground, cracks open, pops open, boom. You just got caught with a freaking 510 thread cartridge trying to hide it and he's for sure gonna book your ass, all right? So make sure you guys are careful with these. And um, yeah, now let's go ahead and take a couple of rips and get down to my final rating. Smooth, terpy perfect airflow in my personal opinion and that honestly yo can they have outdone themselves once again i definitely think that this is a good collection to add into your your are your arsenal like if you're looking for something when you're out with family members whatever the case may be you know it's better to have them thinking that you're hitting a nick than hitting some fucking dank ass weed because then they're for sure going to be judging your ass but if you don't care it doesn't really matter right so that right there boys and girls was the official verve verve i don't know how you pronounce this bio can the official incog Incognito cart battery and it's honestly super clutch. I would have to give it for what it is an incognito cart battery They nailed it from head to toe everything from the wattage everything from the freaking fact that you this has preheat It's clutch. It's super super clutch 10 out of 10 battery and yeah with that being said Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think I should freaking review next it could be anything batteries carts flower concentrates Let me know down in the comments below and we'll catch you guys on the next video